Hey, this is Max, the musician's friend. We're here at Winter Nam 2018 in the Fender booth, and we are chatting with Steve about the exciting new Parallel Universe guitars. How's it going, Steve? Oh, it's going great, man. All right, you want to tell us about these new guitars? I would love to tell you about these new guitars. So, Parallel Universe is our limited edition series for 2018, and uh, it's kind of a what if, or hey, I saw this on a forum one time, or you know, what could have been, what should have been, what shouldn't have been, and um, uh, it's uh, also like a tip of the hat to the mod culture and the Fender Custom Shop, you know, always trying to push the boundaries and see what people do with our instruments. And over the years, you know, you've seen all kinds of random pickups and hardware, you know, dropped into strats and tellies and everything else. And um, we're like, hey, you know, we, we can do that too. And um, we love to see what people do. And this is our opportunity to kind of do something original from Fender that represents all of that. Because, you know, we love it too. We're, we're guitar geeks like anybody else. And so we're really, really excited about these. And um, they're, they're very cool, very polarizing and uh, super limited. So if you can get one, you should. Cool, so should we uh, start going down the line and take yeah. a look at these? Absolutely, please. So the first thing that we have is an instrument that was designed by master builder Chris Fleming years and years ago and done out of the custom shop. It's the Strat Tele Hybrid. So you've got a, a really cool Tele body with some extra comfort uh, built in and the Strat Guard and Tremolo. So it gives you the best of both worlds, that, that Tele squareness and the Strat just tonal variety. And um, Chris Fleming is a genius and so we decided, hey, we can totally do this in production now, and, and so we couldn't help ourselves but bring it out. And so that's going to be the first guitar released this year. And then moving down, we've got a really cool sort of Swiss Army Knife uh, player's guitar. This is our Elite Nashville Telecaster HSS, and um, you got a great ash body with the aged cherry burst finish. It's um, our Elite neck, so it's the C to D neck shape, 9.5 to 14 inch uh, conical fingerboard radius. And um, so it just plays uber quick and, and super smooth. Um, we paired it with a Shaw Bucker, which has been direct mounted into the body. So, uh, you know, all those hot rod guitar fans that love that, we now have it available in a Fender. It's a splittable Shaw Bucker. So when you bring it back down to single coil, it sounds just super, you know, Fendery. Um, we've got the 64 Telecaster pickups uh, in the you know, middle and neck positions, so you get that vintage you know, especially in the neck position, that warmth and uh, just that roundness that comes with it. Was anything revoiced for this, or did you just kind of put it in as is? Put it in as is, because, I mean, let's face it, the Shawbucker is one of the best humbucking pickups that has really been out in the world in a long time. It's got everything you want out of a vintage style humbucking pickup, but it's got some kind of extra sizzle and paired with a Fender guitar on our scale length, it just screams and really does whatever you want it to do. So it's a great thing to have around. Uh, Five-way Strat style switching, we've got the S1 built into the tone control for the split and uh, just a nice rock solid hardtail bridge so it stays with you wherever you go. Great. So what do we got next? So moving on down the line, we have, uh, it's really a great tip of the hat to that modern culture. Um, we've got the Jazz Tele. So Jazz Master Accoutrement, if you would like, and uh, our American Pro Jazz Master Bridge and Tailpiece, the American Pro V-Mod Jazz Master Pickups, and the great mint green over the two-tone sunburst. And we also have it available in this wicked surf green bound rosewood fingerboards, uh, the great uh, Jazzmaster style head cap with the round lamb fingerboard. Um, super classy, super fun, surfy, bouncy, jazzy. Um, it's a great mix of, of that Jazzmaster and Telecaster. and is just really a cool guitar. Um, so what we've got next is our Troublemaker Telecaster. It's available in ice blue metallic and also an ice tea burst. It's an all mahogany body and neck with a really cool book match plain maple top under the ice blue metallic. Uh, the top binding, we've got a Cavernita style pick guard, our Shawbucker 1 and 2 tees off of our American Pro Telecaster Deluxe, and um, our Adjustomatic bridge and the stop tail piece. You know, it's a nod to a lot of those rock guitars from the 70s and uh, that a lot of us really, really enjoy. Really simple three-way switching, wicked witch hat knobs, um, 
it's classy, but it's a rock machine. And it's got a little heft to it. I it when does I picked it up the other day. A little heft to it. You know, when you do a guitar like this with mahogany, it's it's part of it and it helps create that sound and that really unique tone. Even though these are the same shell buckers that we use in our production uh, Telecaster Deluxe, they have a completely new voice in this instrument and uh, it sounds incredible. Very cool. What we have now is really the, the, the sweetheart of the series. This is our Meteora. Um, it's been shown uh, in years past as a prototype instrument, and we all just, we love it. it, it it's very cool, and, and to us, it's like, if you were hanging out in the 60s looking at a jazz master and thought to yourself, what would that look like in 100 years? It would probably look something like this and uh, just beautifully offset when you actually hold it on a strap and have it in your hands the balance is like nothing else that we've ever done before um, but when you get really futuristic you have to do something to kind of bring it back and make it digestible so we stuck uh, an American Pro Telecaster bridge on this and um, it is, you know, with Telecaster appointments in the bridge and neck pickups, three-way tele switching and master volume, master tone. You get the really cool sort of black block inlays that kind of exude that 70s style and the big headstock. So it's got, um, it, it is unique to a T, and, uh, but very, very cool. Ultra limited, and uh, we hope when you get one, you take it out there, you play it, and you show it and you know, show people that you love it. So that's the Meteora, very cool. Next up is our Telecaster Thinline Super Deluxe. We've done uh, this instrument before out of our Japan factory, um, and it's always incredibly popular and sells out very, very quickly. And what we've decided to do was do a USA version of this. Um, you got that great orange you know, rockabilly thing with the white binding, double bound. Um, the back-painted silver sparkle plexi-style pick guard. Um, we've got a set of TV Jones classics. Again, a hardtail bridge, just so it stays nice and true for you. Um, we've got modern keys, a bone nut, the bound bridge or brown neck, excuse me, with the the great pearl block inlays. Standard three-way switching, master volume, master tone. Super lightweight, incredibly resonant. You know, it's that telly feel. The, the Cabernita thing, you know, it's it's a very popular thing out there to do in the world, whether it's from us or a modification. And so just to be able to do something like this is is a lot of fun. Very cool. And, um, so next up is another thing that the custom shop has done in years past. Um, we call this our White Guard Stratocaster. It's got the great blonde finish. Um, and it's everything you want from a mix and match. So you've got the, the beautiful contours and lines and balance of a Stratocaster melded with the tone that you can only get from a Telecaster with the suspended bridge pickup here and, and, and the neck. It truly sounds like a great telly like you would expect, except now you can hold it close and get really personal with it. Um, the telly headstock, it's just, it's very, very cool and, and just came out incredible. Um, so next up is one of the really, really oddballs, one of the coolest things ever is our Jaguar Strat. So it is a, a full 25 and a half inch scale. Uh, you get three Jaguar pickups, five way switching for uh, the regular mode, a master volume, the tone control here controls your uh, neck and middle pickups. And then you've got a wheel up here that is your uh, tone control for the bridge pickup. Here you've got a mode switch essentially. So in down, you've got your standard five way and in up, you get the option switch. Um, option up is all three pickups on. Option down, you get the two outsides to get those really great Jaguar tones, but out of a long scale guitar. Very, very cool. All the chrome, all the stuff, it's just, a, it's a showstopper. And last, of course, but not least, because there's a little bit of bass player in every guitar player, um, and every guitar player is a bass player, bass players are guitar players, and we love things with strings and just things that look cool. So we've done a slab body. 51 style Telecaster bass. Uh, PJ configuration, our modern um, uh, uh, high mass vintage bridge. We got master volume, uh, uh, or I'm sorry, volume, volume tone here on a stack pot and then a master tone. Single ply finalic pick guard, 
So it's got a lot of that vintage vibe, but it's still, it's a nine and a half inch radius with the 63 P-Base profile. So it's ultra comfortable and it's, it's a Swiss Army knife style again. So it's a do all with the PJ. Um, super resonant, that slab body is just great and loud. And it's, it's just a lot of fun. And that's Parallel Universe. This is us having a blast and just seeing what we can get away with. Very cool, thank you so much, Steven. Again, these are gonna be staggered throughout the year? Correct. Correct. So one every month, every other month, and um, uh, they're going to be ultra, ultra limited. So call musician's friend and, you know, get one with your name on it. Great. Thank you so much, Steve. And as he said, uh, keep your eye on musiciansfriend.com and get your order in before they're all gone.